Okay, let's see if we can do the letter lowercase letter E today. Lowercase letter E. Alright, I'm going to start off by drawing well, it's kind of like an oval. It's like an egg shape. Alright. Let me readjust this. And I'm going to erase about this much out. And I use my ghost line. Remember the ghost line? Looks like dash lines. Okay. Let me enhance this a little bit. Enhance this a little bit. Alright, what's next? Now from here, I think we can go over pretty horizontally from there. So I'm going to go over horizontally like that. Not all the way over though. Let's leave some space. Alright. This line right here needs to be doubled. Alright, so I've got that line there. Let's go a little bit above it. About right there. And I'm not going all the way over there to touch that. I'm stopping about the same width that I'm going to leave over here. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, next I'm going to create like a, a rainbow that goes from here to there. Remember, I'm trying to keep this width of this line up in here about the same as it is in here, right? So I'm going to go... Mm. Like that. All right, let's go ahead and solidify that line. Solidify. Now what do we have left? We have this line here that's going to come around. <clears throat> and usually I go skinny, drop it fast, make it fat. I would probably start it out here, then get real skinny here, then bring it up. And you can do that if you want. But let me change it up a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can keep it the same width all the way around using the uh, ghost line technique right. I'm a little bit off let's see if I can address that though when I make the line solid I think I did some yeah I think I did address it and I think I did make it a little more evenly as far as the width a consistent width Now remember there are other tools that you can use to get these curves just right, especially the French curve. Yeah, the French curve really works well with some of these. And if you do have a ruler now, these straight lines, these horizontal lines here, please use a ruler for those later on in the process. Like you can use a sketchy line at first and then come back later to enhance the line. All right. There's your lowercase e. Come back later and I will show you how to 3D that lowercase e. Alright, bye bye.